Hey, hey, hey. It is time for another episode of what is our podcast called again? We haven't been doing this long enough. It's Let's Eat Orlando with Amy Drew. Yeah, and Let's Eat Orlando. Let's eat everything in Orlando. I'm hungry. Uh, we're going to have a really fun show today because it's barbecue time. I'm making pulled pork right now. My, he- my house smells really good. And uh, we're in the mood to talk about pork and beef and I guess maybe some vegetarian sides possibly. But Real it's really not right a vegetarian's now. game, the barbecue no, game. It is not. It is not. So first <laughs> off, before before we start talking about that, let I, I you had mentioned to me about – tell me, can you tell the story about – give a version of the story – of what you're cooking because um, this is something you've been cooking for a while. And uh, like the, the, and I'm just kind of curious if you can kind of give a version of it um, of like where you got the recipe and, and, and all of that. And this is an old one. I, I'm not, I make it in the crock pot. It is a Carolina pulled pork recipe, vinegar based. I love it. And I'm not, you know, pulled pork. I think you told me pulled pork is what you usually go for when you go for barbecue. I think no, it was you. I go brisket. I'm yes, a brisket. I am a brisket and or ribs person, generally mm-hmm. speaking. But I love this recipe. But I I was not, I did not grow up with crock pots in my house. So I just wasn't familiar with it. So I was probably like 30 years old and I used to kind of knock the crock pot. And I worked with a bunch of people who were big fans. They'd be like, oh, I've got it going at home. I'm gonna have dinner ready when I'm when I get home. You gotta get a crock pot. So they finally sold me. And I didn't know what the heck to cook in the crock pot, but it came with like a little instruction booklet on how to work the crock pot and it had like 10 recipes in it. And one of it, one of them was Carolina pulled pork. It was in the little handbook that like showed you the parts of the crock pot. <laughs> and I made it and it was awesome. And so that's the recipe that I make. And honestly, it's I've made that that's probably 90% of everything I've ever made in a crock pot. And I still don't use it that often, but I always make this. And right now I'm doing it for a story. So I think think it's great. So, so let's, since you said it's a Carolina one, what do you, do you use a Carolina sauce at the end, like at the end when you top your barbecue or do you not? There is no sauce. It is, it is like a jus. It, it, It gets a rub, it gets a dry rub, and then you make a vinegar based what I would call a jus. They don't call it that because yeah. they don't use that term in barbecue. Like <laughs> and uh, you pour some of that over the top of it. You let it cook in there with the onions and then you save some because people also like to use it sometimes as a dip or pour more on. Yep. I don't even think it's necessary because it cooks in there with all the pork, you know, runoff and everything. Um, but I have it. So yeah, it's vinegar. And I can't remember everything off the top of my head. It's vin- vinegar, vinegar, cider vinegar and some sugar and dry mustard and red pepper and garlic powder and a bunch of other things. And then, uh, on the, on the pork though, is just brown sugar, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. That's it. Mm, That's how I like it. I like that. Yeah. It's Uh, really good. Are you usually when you go and order barbecue, like what's your, since we're obviously going to talk about some of the barbecue places in, in central Florida that we like and stuff like that. What, What's your go to? Like, do you, you know, like, I, and, and I'll, and I'll preface it this way. Like, I'm assuming that when you go to a pizzeria or a, or a pizza place, there are certain things that you kind of like, if you can't do these things, uh, or this is how I can tell your layer of what I, if I like, will like or not like. Is there something like that when you go into a barbecue place or that, like, a go to order that you always order? I don't feel like I have, I want to know your go-to order. You're always asking me everything. Why don't you tell um, me your go-to? You grew up, I mean, you grew up down here. No, There's I more... grew up in Jersey. So I, I am right. not, I grew so up like in Jersey. Me. You're kind of like, yeah. you know, the rest I, of barbecue yeah, experience. I, grew up... you. I, I lived in Atlanta for a while. There was good barbecue there. So, my, my go-to, like we said, I like brisket and I like ribs. Um, I usually, I'm all about the meat. When I go to a barbecue place, I am not about the sides. I like a coleslaw or a cucumber salad, something that's like crunchy and not heavy. Plus, I am the pickiest mac and cheese person. Like to me, like every mac and cheese that I try is like people be like, this one's so good. And I'll be like, it's all right. (laughs) But all that stuff takes up too much space. You need to leave real estate for the meat. So, and I'm the same way. I, when I go, when I order barbecue, first off, I, yes, I know I'm sandwich guy. I do not order a sandwich when I get never, barbecue. Never, I ever. I literally, ever. my whole thing is I want to enjoy your meats. 
Yes. So like I usually will do like a three meat. I'll pick like a three meat platter or something that allows me to have like a brisket, maybe a pulled pork. If it's like your chicken or whatever you say, ribs, whatever you tell me, I usually will even ask them. I'll be like, well, what is it yeah. that I should be getting? I'll Just ask. Just because I'll I kind of want to see what it is. Uh, Cause sometimes I may not pick like, they may say, Hey, the Turkey's amazing. And I'd be like, eh, I don't really think I want Turkey. No, but I try Turkey. That... I try house made sausage. I like, if they make their own sausage, I want to try it. Yeah. So a lot of times that's what I'll do. And then obviously I'll ask, I may ask for like an extra piece of bread or whatever, because maybe I, maybe I'll convert one of those pieces as I go. But the other big thing is I, I do, I am a saw, so like I do like sauces. However, I try not to put any sauce on the, on the meats. I yeah, want to just I'm, enjoy the meats. Yeah, I'm the same way. If there are sauces, if they're house made, I want to try them, but I'll put them in little cups and I taste them separately mm -hmm. because I tend to like spicier ones. I like the mustard ones, like the Carolina gold. I like something like that. But with this pulled pork, I never put any gooey sauce on it because it's so good just with that vinegary, brown sugary taste. But what I usually do when I make this and I'm having people over is I'll get a really big one and I split them and I'll put a bowl out and I will pull that pork and toss it in like a sweeter sauce because most people like that. And then yeah. I'll leave some of it plain for me and the other people who don't want the goo. And then there'll be more goo. If you want to add goo, you can, you know? I, I like call it goo instead of just yeah, sauce. it's um, goo because once it gets hot and sticky it's like gooey what do you okay so when you serve this pulled pork out of the crock pot how how is it being served is it just like you serve it and then you have some sides are you bringing like no, are you doing sliders is, rolls this what do you is do? a sandwich yeah this is i mean you okay. could do sliders i don't usually do it this is a pulled carolina pulled pork sandwich it goes on a nice roll with slaw and i like i cut up a bunch of onions and i put them under the pork so they cook in there. So I like to put the onions, you know, and the pork and then cook slaw on yes. it. Not everybody wants onions. I am. I pro want onions. onions. I want slaw. I want yeah. all of that. Yes, yes, exactly. So that's how I eat it with onion, pork, slaw on a roll, Caroline style. That's what I want. Okay. I like that. I like that. So no for goo. You no can goo. have the goo. I'm, I'm totally okay with my guests doing that. I want them to have what they like, but I don't yeah, want yeah. that. No, I, I totally, I totally get that. Is there now I know, and I, obviously I'm not expecting you to be the, the, the expert and I'm, I'm trying to figure out myself, like, cause I've eaten barbecue in a variety of different places, like in, in Texas. And I've had it in, I've had it in Memphis. Uh, I've had it in Carolina. Like so like do you Memphis. have a preference of like one over the other of like where of like tech of like the styles, the different styles of barbecue, or does it not matter? I like them all because I like everything. But mm -hmm. if I had to pick, you know, if you set me before whatever and you said, these are the best of the best of the regions, I would go probably either Carolina or Memphis. Those are my two favorites. But I like Texas because brisket in Texas, I go St. Louis, you know, I like barbecue. Yeah. So yeah. barbecue is a, a good one. And speaking of that, I, w I, I would say there's there's definitely a lot to choose from here in Central Florida. Yes. Like we're, I, getting, I, that, we're getting to be like really heavy dude. Like there are still some out there that I've heard really good things about that I've been dying to try. Like I, there's a, we should go. We always say this. We should go. We should go here. We should, we should go. go there. We should make, I, we have a running list. I have a running list of places. I know. And yet this about. is where I see you. I see you on the computer. I know. I know. It's we're we're going to change that. We're going to change that. What do you have? So can we talk a little bit about some of the barbecue? Like places that you've uh that you enjoy that we can kind of maybe show show some love to or at least uh well, why don't you, know, you go first all right Let's, i, I think no, i want to hear i want to hear what I you have no have problem to say. so i will say classic old school cecil's texas style barbecue that one's like kind of like you know that's that's a good one that's like kind of been here forever but it like other places like i try i've tried Cecil's is I, the one by rock pit right I'm mm -hmm. trying to get my bearings. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So and I then, know what I'm talking about. There's, I, and like, there's others that I've been to that I thought are really good. Like, I like Jimmy Bears in St. Clouds. I have uh, heard, wait, I've, yeah, Jimmy Bears. I've heard Jimmy of, Bears yeah. is good. I like that one. Uh, I I remember, it's funny because I taught, we ta we've talked about this one place um, because it was on, it was your Critics' Choice for the Foodie Awards 
And I and it's funny because I had messaged you and be like, I'm assu- I know you've been here. Um, briskets and barbecue, shock and grill and Oviedo. Briskets was this year's winner. I'm getting in. I, I've th- I've done the foodies four times. Can yeah. you believe that? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this year's winner was briskets. Really good food. Really good. Huge menu. Yep. Holy cow. Um, and they do a lot of great stuff. And that line is out the door. I am not the only person no. who there were many, many people who approved of my choice this year. Yep. The, um, some, they do some good other, dessert too. They do have good the banana pudding and the pies are good. It is. It's really uh, good. Smoke, uh, smoking donuts. I like smoking donuts. I do. I, they, you talked about Turkey. I like the Turkey at smoking that's, donuts. Well, that's where I said the Turkey from because my wife had it and she's like, this is amazing. She's it like, is, it's she's, really good. She's like, it's, it's really, really good. good. So she got like, like you the finally slider. have a barbecue place where yeah. you're like, wow, I could be tempted away from the most fattening thing yep. by the Turkey. Yep. Cause most places you're like, ah, it's going to be dry. Just give me pork. <laughs> yep. You and know? that's, and that's exactly why I said that because I was <laughs> like, who would do Turkey? But that's, they're the reason why, because of them, I do like, I do like I love I really do enjoy Pig Floyd's just because I love I love the sides and I love the variety of different I things. Need to go back to Pig barbecue. Floyd. It's been too long. Um, that one is Pig one Floyd's of those. Won my first year. They won yeah. my first year, so it's I've, it's I have shown them love. I have. I been love back I, I love their ri- I enjoy their ribs. I still think their half chicken is awesome with the rice yeah. and black beans and yuca the, fries is what I usually get it with, and I love it. So I love the sides. Like to get, cause I love chicken and that's not why you go to a barbecue place usually. Yes. yes. But I still will go. Usually. So my go-tos there are the, ha- if I want a meal, I do have the half chicken. I don't know why, but I do the half chicken. I feel like it, cause I get a great bang for the buck. It's really good. And then if not, I go plain Jane brisket, plain Jane yeah. brisket sandwich is what I go with, um, is usually. And then some other ones like smoke made meats. You just said you, you do a sandwich though. Don't you just eat the brisket? Well, no, I don't always. No, 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 no. Because, no. like, I mean, when I initially go to a place, when I initially I go dog. to a place, I know I hear <laughs> my dog too. Mine's sleeping right here. Um, what I when I go to a first place, I don't eat a sandwich. But if I go once I've been there forever oh, or okay. I keep going, then I'll get a sandwich because that's exactly what I did. I actually broke my rule, and I I'm perfectly fine breaking it at Boxer and Clover. I had their oh. chopped brisket sandwich. I, Holy cow. Yeah, so good. I was really, I liked a lot of what I ate at Boxer and Clover. And I tasted the sides. I'm trying to remember. I really, the beans. Cowboy the beans. Be- the beans at Boxer and Clover are crazy good. Like, <laughs> my what i did was when i ate my brisket sandwich all the pieces that fell off into the little bucket into the little tray like the little boat that it goes in i then grabbed it and i dumped it into the beans and i mixed it up so that i had the meat to go with it that's what i that was uh that is the move that i did with that that's how i eat i feel like anything that falls i'm like okay that becomes something else i can have to be able to enjoy it a different way. I tasted everything and then sent all the leftovers home with my boss, who was very happy, whose husband was very happy. And I was very happy because this is the one thing with barbecue. I really don't, once in a while, I will go on my own to barbecue, but it's not my go-to. I usually, it's for work when I eat barbecue. I like it. But the reason I don't go is because you eat barbecue and then like you're done. You can't do anything. When people go to barbecue for lunch and they eat that, like, what do they do? Just like go back and just sleep at their desk? They, they hibernate. They hibernate. It's, so to me, it's like barbecue is, um, Stephen says barbecue is an investment. <laughs> you like know, that. like if, you, like- if you're going to have barbecue, you like got to mark out time mm-hmm. to like, it's like, it's like being a snake. It's like you ate, you know, a badger and now you have to go lay down in a cave somewhere and digest that. And hybrid. You can't leave. So, you just have to uh, lay where you are and digest your food. I, two other places that I two other places that I, I wrote down as I was thinking about that we were gonna be talking about this. Any Southern uh, smokehouse in St. Cloud. Love they won, them. They, AJ Brown. And they won, they won second, they won, I think it was like the reader's choice in the foodie award this year. Uh and which they is they were great. my choice last yep, year. Exactly. They were my choice last year. Great place, great people. Old school, like legit his grandmother's recipes. He's got some good sides too. But again, I just don't, I taste and then I move on because it's not about that. I want yeah. ribs. 
I want yeah. ribs. I want all that stuff. I don't want to eat your mac and cheese, even if it's good. The so uh, the last one is I have not been to it since it's I guess changed its version I guess its iteration, but originally I used to love Uncle Kenny's, and I know now he does Uncle Kenny's Takeaway I think is what it is now. Yes, he's got um, a truck now. I have to go check yes, that out. I have to check that out because I loved their barbecue. They, uh, they were the first ones that I had. I actually had. Um, it was like barbecue. What was it? it was and like that's a barbecue saucy St. Louis barbecue. He does the yes. saucy St. Louis. It's, it's really good. Yeah. You know, it's good stuff. It's fun. You know, regional, regional foods are fun, you know? So yes. it's neat that you have all of these different versions and you can have a favorite, but you can also still like everything. And that's me. Yeah. I'll eat it all. I'll eat it all. Did I, did I miss, did I, I mean, obviously I, I rattled off a lot of barbecue places and do you have any that you kind of like, I really like this place or any places that maybe I should check, think about checking out? Well, you know, there's one that I'll, you know, I'll probably end up writing about this soon. Um, I wrote about them, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. They, it's uh, Joe's Holy Smoke. Okay. And he makes barbecue out of, I'm trying to remember what kind of gas station. I think it's a shell station. You could, you could Google that in Castleberry. Now, I'm not sure if he's still doing that, but rumor has it that they're going to be opening a brick and mortar. And I don't know what you would call his. It's like crazy saucy. He does this thing. You want to talk about sandwiches? He does this thing called a rib dog where he takes a giant rib and just slaps it in a hot dog bun and then he yanks the bone out. Yeah, look at your face. Look at your I would, face. I, I would eat the hell out You're of You're interested. That. Yeah, yeah. And I did like in my car, you know, yeah. like after I got it. But it's like he puts all the sauce, like two different kinds of sauce. He'll mix the, mix the sweet with the spicy. So you'll get like that kind of dark red with the more Tabasco-y orange on the top. And it's just on that soft hot dog roll. It's It's like, it's just, it's got to be stupid bad for you, man. <laughs> but it's so good. It's so good. You get a box from him and it like weighs 12 pounds. You know, awesome. it's like all the sides and the meat and, and it's really good. I don't know what you'd classify. It's just sort of Southern barbecue is what I would call it. I would just call it Southern. Yeah. And, and I think <laughs> for me, I think the big thing is like, I'm not, I don't know. Like I, I I'm really not, I'm, I'm picky in the sense that I want like, like I, I will be honest, I don't traditionally get pulled pork. I don't usually get pulled no, pork uh, at most places. Um, it's like the last thing I will order. It just doesn't. I had it at Boxer and Clover. It was actually good. It was. Yes, I mean, not my daughter. Surprised. My daughter. My daughter loves it. She. That's her. That's her go-to order. Uh, is so that's is that? And she had it. Whenever you. So go. I'll have a taste of it, but it's not usually my go-to at all. It's. Um. I'm usually more of like I want the brisket. Mm -hmm. I want the ribs. Oh, the brisket um, there was yeah. so good. The brisket so, yeah. there was so good. That was my favorite. When we went, I can tell you this: the brisket was my favorite of the meats I tried at Boxer and Clover. And my boss loved the pulled pork. She's a pulled pork girl. She, that was her favorite. Okay. Nice. So. The, you've been to, I know you've, I've heard, or you've been to a, one's called like Brock. Um, Brock's, yeah. Brock's is um, a food truck and they used to be, you know, running around tasty takeover, all that stuff. But now Brock's parks at the food factory in Oviedo. Okay. And it's basically like, it's not, it had, so this place has, it's like a micro food hall. It has like mini restaurants and like a more communal area, like out at the bar where you can take your food and eat it and whatever. And Brock's is sort of like the bar restaurant. So the nice. truck is there and you can place your order at the bar for the barbecue and they'll run it out to you. And his barbecue is amazing. His, he, it's Brock's Florida barbecue. Okay. And he does a lot of unique things. He does like a moho pork steak. That's amazing. Yeah. I see your face. I knew that. I love that. Getcha. I love yeah, that. Yeah. He does a lot of really unique things, um, fun things and, you know, very traditional things, but like his way really good. So if you're into tasting lots of barbecue, this is a great place to go because so many barbecue places are like pop-ups and trucks. And so this is a truck, but like, it's basically in this really nice full bar where yeah. on the weekends there could be live music. You could bring your dog, your kids can run around and there's a place to sit. It's got shade. And a lot of these other places don't have that. 
Yeah, and I also that will. They have that, shade that smoke made meats, but first you have to wait an hour in the sun if you want to get in there because yeah, everybody loves yeah. it so much. Everyone loves it, and everyone's going to it. Yeah, it's a that's a that's a tough one to go. Like, there's always. I mean, I will say the one thing that to me about barbecue is that it's like it's so laborious in the sense of like, yeah, like these meat, hours in the smoke. Yeah. And like, you got to keep an eye on them and there's like a, there's technology and science, um, you mm-hmm. know, like, you know, looking at it, like you have like your temperatures and making sure that you can't open it so that the, the heat doesn't release and, you know, making sure it's low and slow, uh, you know, which to me, in some cases, I know some people say it's therapeutic. Others just love it because they love like the flavor it's of like it. A and... meat bonsai. It's yeah. like tending a meat bonsai. I mean, <laughs> when you say it's, I don't know that anybody's ever told me it's therapeutic, no. but I can see that was immediately. I thought, what's a therapeutic hobby? But it's sort of the same thing, just in small increments. Like you make yeah. this bonsai and then you share it and you get the satisfaction that so many people love of pe- of sharing their food and other people loving it. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, there's so much satisfaction in that, but yeah, you stink and you're hot and it takes a long time. It's definitely yeah. a labor of love for uh-huh. sure. It is that it is. And I think that to me, that's one of the things where I appreciate it. But I also think to me, sometimes when I, when I see that, then it's like, Oh, you took all that time. And then in 15 minutes you devoured it. And then what happens? So oh my God. 50. Yeah. Well then you, then you have to lay there like a rattlesnake that just ate a badger. <laughs> that's what you do. Yes. That's that, why you need to avoid the sides. You know, only eat crispy salad sides. Only eat the meat. Um, well, I mean, that's what goes the best with it, though. Like pickled onions or just pickles if you don't like onions. Those things that are cold and crunchy go so well and vinegary go so well with all that fat. It's so fatty. I had, um, who was his name? His name Tyler from Smoke Made Meat. I Tyler, had their yeah. uh, brisket cheesesteak uh, oh, is that what I had. Oh, so good. And when I had it, I asked him, I said, what do I get for the side? Because I so I would be like, oh, potato salad. And he's like, no, the coleslaw. And I was oh, expecting definitely. and I was expecting the coleslaw to be like mayonnaise, but it wasn't, which made it even greater. And then mm-hmm. he had a zucchini and tomato side. That That's was like new. With and onion. I heard it's really good. I want that. Super, super good. I brought I didn't I couldn't finish it. I couldn't finish my sides. I couldn't finish like I literally ate yeah, half the sandwich. Barbecue. That's what and barbecue I, is. You yeah. Know? And I brought people it home. Finish it, my... Those people are like, you need a doctor trailing those people. Yeah. So <laughs> I brought it home and my family got to eat it and they were like this is amazing. They're like, this is zucchini and tomatoes. And she's like, this coleslaw is like ridiculous. And I was like, and then, and then I shared some of my brisket with them and they were like, man, I'm like, this is so good. And I was like, yes, that's one thing I do like about it. They do really good sausage though. Yes. I had the sausage. The sausage is really good there, but I'm a brisket person and that's Texas barbecue and that's brisket. So it's like, if you can only pick one thing, that's what you want. But if you're going to yes. pick a couple, I would definitely go for the sausages there. Hankley's has a really good, Boxer and Clover has a really, really good potato salad. Did you try that? I did have the potato salad. It was good. Like, the beans yes, were I still like my favorite though. Yes. I, my daughter got the beans because she wanted watermelon and they didn't have any. And so then I said, oh, you should get the cowboy beans. Because I'm like, I love a good baked beans. Because that's what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like It was baked way beans. better than baked beans. Because baked was like, beans yeah. are always too sugary. I never get baked beans. I only got the beans because I wanted to try everything. And I was so glad I did because next time, you know, next winter or whatever, you know, a hundred years when it's cold again like it seems like summer just it was winter and then boom it was like 95 degrees and there were tornado warnings <laughs> so pretty much pretty so, much but next time when the weather cools off again i am gonna go there and i'm gonna eat those beans for lunch because that's okay. like chili or i'll get yeah, like a yeah. rib and scrape it into the beans there and you I'll go that. that sounds uh that sounds delicious no i uh I definitely enjoy it. I, I will say that I don't always go for the barbecue, but you know, being barbecue, barbecue month, uh, I definitely needed to try it and definitely needed to have it. And uh, so that's kind of the big one. Do you have any uh, fun stuff that's coming up from barbecue month that you uh, that you're sharing or working on? Or the pulled pork that I'm making right now yeah. will uh, be in the newspaper. I mean, I'm not sure when this is gonna is this gonna air next week. Yeah, I'm not sure. It'll probably air. Um, whenever this one drops, it's going to be in the paper next week. Okay. So, 
And then um, you'll, and your recipe will be on there. It will be on the yeah, newspaper. Oh yeah, the recipe will be in there, and I'll tell okay. the story that everybody here who's listening will already know. That's okay. Um, in more words, probably, because yeah. that's what I do. But the re- <laughs> if you don't want to do that, you can just go get the recipe. There'll be a link and all that other stuff. I love it. I love it. I uh, we do do a crock pot. We do obviously. I think everyone's got a crock pot, and they do pulled like they do a pulled pork or something like that. We will do. We do usually go that route with like a butt, and we'll just go and and yeah. I'll do and I and I usually will do like rub, do like the rub on it, and then leave it like for twenty four hours of the rub, and then try to throw it in there and and get it all going with like the, you know the. But I don't have a go to. I don't have a go to. I've tried different things. I've done it with like soda. I've done it with beer. Maybe you I've, could try uh, this one. This I one, think I am going to try this one. It's so good. It's so good. And it and if you like sauce, you can just totally add the sauce after, you know? Yeah, I um, like that. Yeah, I would, I would warm up any sauce that you wanted to use if you want to toss it. But you seem to be like, uh, I'm going to taste it first. So maybe you'll... Uh, yeah, I'd rather eat the meat and see what it's like. And then I'll put the sauce on it if I want to so put There are so many sauce. people, though, who just sauce it. They, like, they sauce it before they taste it. They just It's almost like the meat is a vehicle for the condiment. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes. And and I'm okay with that, but I, uh, but I get it. Like, I feel like that's just like you're masking like deliciousness of, of all the hard work and all the, and everything that comes with it. Uh, that yeah. They did. And that's, you know, I think when, when I see sauce, I know that this isn't the same thing, but like, I want it, I want you to want to give it to me without sauce so that I can really taste it. Like if you're putting sauce on stuff and it's not usually, you know, like if you serve me Texas brisket, but you're saucing it before I get it, like that's sus. Yeah. <laughs> like what got, are you I, what are you covering? What are you covering up? I like that. I like that. I think that's uh I think that's that's that should be the thing. If you go to any barbecue place and they sauce it up, it's you, <laughs> you're sus. It's uh what, what is what's sauce the you know? Yeah. I like that. I like that. That's uh that's a good but one. But people should eat it the way they like it, you know. Oh, of course. Yeah. I definitely, you know, for sure. But I definitely do think that, you know, it's nice to be able to try certain things. Taste it first. Um, you know, before. just taste it. It's, then you well, get, it's then also you the get... same thing with people who salt food before they put throw salt on food before they even eat it. And they're right. like, oh, no, it's it's not salty enough. And I'm like, but you didn't even try it yet. I'm like, how do you know? You know, <laughs> maybe the chef was perfect. Maybe yeah. that balance is exactly there. You have to give it a chance first. Mind you, if my mom made it, it's probably low salt and I'm probably going to have to salt it. Uh, but that's besides the, that's besides the point. Right. Um, when it comes well, to I, it. You know, I make, when I make chicken soup, I tend to like it less salty or at mm-hmm. least to salt it myself. So I tend to make it a little less salty and I'll warn people. I'll be like, you're probably going to want to add salt to it just because yeah. I don't want it to be salty right out of the, I'd rather just do it myself. Kind no, of I, thing. Gotcha. I put salt in it. So like, but I always warn people because I like it. Do you, uh, this will be the last question before we wrap up. And, and obviously I'm asking because I, as a sandwich person, but like bread wise, do you, are you usually, are you a fan of the, like the piece of bread to be able to kind of sop up all the, the juices and the, and the, all the sauce and all that well, stuff that comes I with definitely, it? I like the bread because the bread yeah. does do that. First of all, it serves as like a blotter, yeah. you know, it's like the equivalent of the, of the napkin on pizza for those people who do that. But yeah, you have an option. Then there's an option. There's like a nice greasy piece of white bread. Although when people do that, I will say this, I don't want Texas toast. I am not a fan of Texas toast. I just want it to be like plain white bread. That's not grilled and greasy. I want, it to, be greasy. I want it to be greasy from the meat that's sitting on it, not from anything else. Yeah. It's actually kind of like when people ask me like why... Um... People ask me sometimes, they're like, hey, is an open face sandwich or is that considered a sandwich? And I usually tell them no. And it's kind of the same idea with like either like with hot chicken or with barbecue. The idea of it is, is to be able to, it's a trencher. It's basically a, a, it's supposed to be absorb all the juices and everything so that you can eat it. But it's not meant to be, you know, it's that's kind of what it is. It's supposed to sop, sop up all that I stuff. I loved when I was a kid, the hot open turkey sandwich. We always talk about with Thanksgiving gravy? food. Yeah, I used to love it. I would go to, I'm, I'm again, I guess I'm dating myself. I used to go to Howard Johnson's oh, when wow. I was a kid with my friend, Sharon. We would walk to Howard Johnson's from her house. We were in elementary school. And we would go there and she would get like every, I guess I was always the weird one, you know, like she would get like a hamburger or grilled cheese and I would always get the hot open turkey sandwich. That was what I wanted. 
You're like an old soul there. I'll have that I, with, I, a, with a cup of soup, please. Definitely, definitely. If they had fish cakes, I would have ordered those too. Wow. Fish yeah, cakes that, and spaghetti. Okay. okay. Oh, is that, my, is my timer's she, going off. There you go. Well, this is perfect because this is a done. good way to wrap it up so we can wrap up the episode. Yeah, uh, I can, uh, Alexa, now, stop timer. <laughs> Alexa, let's wrap up the show. <laughs> uh, so that's our show for today. Thank you so much for coming on and talking and listening to us talk about barbecue. I'd love to for uh, for you guys to leave some recommendations. Uh, I want to thank you so much to everyone for listening in. Definitely check subscribe. Tell your friends where more episodes coming. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But uh, thanks. Yeah, and tell uh, us in the comments where we should go to eat ribs and whatever and barbecue you know, or anything. Give, yep. Yeah, give us uh, give us your barbecue places. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.